I got a single wisdom tooth out yesterday. I'm actually not, not that swollen, which is nice. I don't know if it's the best idea for me to be talking a bunch right now, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Okie doke. Smiling actually kind of hurts right now, which means I'm just gonna be miserable this entire video. All right, here's the dealio. I've never been one for wrap up videos, or at least I never used to be. I thought they were boring. I didn't enjoy them. I never watched them. Then I started watching them from my favorite YouTubers just because I would watch all of their videos so it meant I just end up watching their wrap-up videos so this was like Chelsea Dolling Reads or Books and La La I started watching theirs in the process of that I kind of got sucked into them I kind of see a point to them now what I like about them is that in one video you get 15 books you get a summary and a review of 15 books in one video really concisely and I think that is just fabulous I'm never gonna be a person that sits down and watch this like a 10 minute review for one book. I don't have that commitment in me to do that, but a 20 minute video talking about 20 books, that's like snap, snap, snap a book a minute and that I can handle and that I actually do enjoy. And that is a way that I've been getting a lot of my book recommendations lately. That and reading vlogs, of course, obviously reading vlogs are the god. So I figured it was about damn time that I do a wrap up video. I was gonna do one in September cause I read read a million books in September and I figured oh that's perfect it's a perfect month to do it then I got to halfway through October and I realized okay time's kind of out nobody cares and then in October I spent the entire month getting through Under the Dome by Stephen King we've gone through November and I've actually read a decent amount so I figure it makes sense for me to do a little wrap up which is what I'm gonna do in November I finished my reading challenge on Goodreads I've read 40 but I've read over 40 40 books by now. Finished my reading challenge of reading 40 books this year, which is pretty sick. Under the Dome, it looks like I finished that at the very beginning of November. I think I finished like the last 50 pages on November 1st or 2nd or whatever. Well, let's talk about that then. Under the Dome was, oh no, do I have to do this professionally? Do I have to give a synopsis of each book? Ugh. Okay, quick little synopsis. Under the Dome by Stephen King. It says it in the title. A dome pretty much encapsulates a town in, I don't know, in Maine, I don't know, probably some Stephen King town. And it kind of goes on about what is then happening with the military and what's happening actually obviously inside the dome, corruption, murder. It is a hoot. I watched a TV show a few years ago. Enjoyed that fairly much, but it wasn't my favorite the way it was done and produced. I was really interested in the concept, however, and have wanted to read the book ever since. I found it randomly at a neighboring town's library. I picked it up and I got into it. What I really enjoyed was the beginning because you're kind of getting to know all the characters, getting to know all the issues that are going to be happening throughout the book. So that first 300 pages was really interesting. Then there was about 100 pages there in the middle where there wasn't much going on or what was going on I wasn't that interested in. And then the last few hundred pages, obviously things start wrapping up and that was was also interesting. A lot of people don't like the ending. I enjoyed it. I thought it actually made sense. And I gave Under the Dome four stars. Next book! On November 13th, ooh, I finished Gone Girl. I was actually gonna read this for, I think it was Spookathon? The readathon that Books and Lala hosts. I didn't end up participating in that readathon for just, it was just a complete shit show on my end. So I read it just on my own and had a fun time with it. It was really good. Yeah, this book was so messed up. I kind of got it ruined for me. I think like one of the major twists. I remember watching the trailer years ago to the movie. There's something that is shown in the trailer that is one of the major twists of this book and I didn't realize that that was a really major twist. I didn't realize that so then it wasn't a huge crazy thing for me then when I was reading about it. I think it really kind of affected the way I looked at the first half of the book because I knew what was going on in that first half. I would say despite that, it was still incredibly interesting. I guess I was just looking at it then from a different perspective of knowing what was going on and I could kind of try and look at all the cracks in what was going on in the book. <laughs> 
Anyway, so five stars on this end. Oh, I read The Hunger Games. Oh, there was something that happened one day where I had nothing to read. So I picked up The Hunger Games. Oh, it was a fun time. I'm so tired. I honestly don't want to do this right now. I just want to sleep. Whatever. It was a fun time. Yay. Oh my God. I supremely enjoy the games aspect. That's what I enjoyed the most. So I was very excited for that. We all know what The Hunger Games is about. It was pretty good. Katniss was, I felt very whiny at times, but I felt it was very appropriate because you gotta remember she's 16. She is a teenager and she has so much on her back. So I feel like it kind of made sense that she was whiny sometimes and I forgave her for it. I gave that four stars. Girl on the train. Ooh, did not really like this. Didn't care for the girl on the train. Oh my God. I still haven't watched the movie for Girl on the Train. And it's with Emily Blunt. She's awesome. I love her. Devil Wears Prada. Ugh amazing girl on the train though was not feeling it it's about a woman she's going back and forth on a train every single day and she's kind of grown attached to these people that she sees and goes past every single day then shit starts to go down and she kind of inserts herself into the situation it sounds fascinating it wasn't i read it in one day which was an amazing experience i haven't read a full book in a day in so long. I think it's been like three or four years. That was probably the best thing about Girl on the Train was me making the decision to read it in a day. If I hadn't done that, I probably would have only gotten one star. Yes, I gave it two stars because it was kind of boring if I'm being honest. I just didn't really care for what was going on. Found it pretty predictable. I don't know. I'm still gonna watch the movie though because as I said, Emily Blunt, Love you, girl. Although I heard the movie isn't set in London and the setting of London in this book is so integral. I will say that was one of my favorite bits about the book. The setting was fantastically done. Two stars. Anyway, the family upstairs. Oh, this sucked. Another two star read. When I read the back of this book, it sounded absolutely fascinating. 25 years ago, police were called to 16 Shane Walk with reports of a baby crying. When they arrived, they found a healthy 10-month-old happily cooing in her crib in the bedroom. Downstairs in the kitchen lay three dead bodies, all dressed in black next to a hastily scrawled note. That's not the exact synopsis I read, but that's pretty much what I knew going into it. To me, that sounded like a really interesting murder mystery thriller type dealio. I found it a little bit boring. It drew on a little bit. The ending felt, it felt like the author was trying to be like, ooh, it's an open ended ending to me instead it just felt unfinished like there just should have been more yeah and the writing it wasn't terrible writing hi little baby it wasn't terrible writing but it was a little just cliche like it could have been better I wish who wrote this I wish Lisa Jewell had maybe spent a few more years developing her style another two star read is my computer on your place last book is wicked Fox. Now I'm so tired. I don't know how in depth I can go on this. Plus I have a reading vlog coming up for this, but I loved Wicked Fox. It has to do with Korean mythology, which was really interesting to read about. Never read about that before. It had drama, it had romance. We loved it. Five stars. Can't wait until the next book. I'm going to be putting up a full reading vlog about it. So if you want to hear more in depth on my feelings, look out for that. Subscribe. Yay! That's what I read in November. It was a fun time. My mouth hurts now from speaking too much.